For some reason, this quote from Cerebus number 98 is trending on Twitter and has been since April 20th. Falling in love makes smoking pot all day look like the ultimate in restraint. Uh, since we're pretty sure that nothing I've ever said before or have said since will ever again trend on Twitter, Sandeep suggested that I should comment on the quote in a YouTube video and maybe we can chase my previous quote around the internet or something like that. 28 years later, looking at the quote, I would say, how would you know, having never been in love? I fell in lust any number of times, but that had more to do with my being a porn junkie and chronic masturbator. TMI alert, I quit masturbating 12 years ago, having discovered a home truth I'm delighted to share with you. If you leave your dick alone, your dick will leave you alone. I got seriously infatuated with a couple of women in my early 20s. Apart from that, I've always enjoyed the company of women. I told several women that I loved them any number of times. I never actually fell in love, but I was quite adept at faking it. I found it entertaining to see if I could induce a woman to fall in love with me. I was seriously enabled in that by the fact that women believed, and many women still believe, that I just haven't met the right woman. 007, License to Womanize. Da -da 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 -da. Coupled with a rock-solid secular humanist belief that people are just bags of chemicals, I saw nothing wrong with using whatever would work to get my bag of chemicals inside any physically desirable bag of chemicals that took my fancy. Love is perfectly balanced, reciprocal, and enduring. It definitely exists. I've seen it unmistakably in many, many couples. Enough to recognize it doesn't exist in me. The reprehensible thing that I did was to keep getting involved with women when I knew my own nature. If you're completely immune to love, as I am and always have been, the only ethical thing to do is to stay away from women. That's the conclusion that I came to after reading the Bible and mulling it over and by which I have abided without exception for the last 17 years. Had I come to that conclusion and acted upon it 17 years before that, I've been celibate for as long as I was sexually active pretty much, I would have led a much better, more ethical and more productive life. Better late than never, as they say. 